What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Real Jetty, and I'm back with a video. Today's video is a little bit special. I'm going to be looking into Dimash. I want to know why he's, so, why he's so good, why he's the vocal guy. I have to know this. I've been itching to do this one. But before we get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment something I didn't mention in the video that I probably left out, comment below in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, like I said, make sure you hit that sub button. And let's get into this. Okay, Dimash. They said he was born in May 1994. May 24th, 1994. Same birthday month, y'all. We got the same birthday month. But his languages he spoke in was Russia. I know I'm going to mispronounce these, but I'm going to come close. I'm not from these countries, so as long as I get it, get it come close. He, uh, from where he was from, uh, from was Kaz Kazakh, Kazakh, Russian, French, English, Italian, Mandarin, Chinese, Turkish, Ukraine, Siberian, Kyrgyz, Spanish, uh, Uzbek, Tatar. That was the 13 languages. He did sports. It says he did swimming, Taekwondo when he was little to build up stamina for his performance on stage, which he knew what he was doing. He re Dimash regularly works out. That's what they say. They say he uses a swimming pool at a hotel. Whenever he stays, wherever at a, wherever hotel he gets, he, he, he makes sure there's a swimming pool where he stays. And they say it's a video where I can find him playing basketball and doing some football juggling. The music instruments he performed on stage was piano, dombra, drum, and the music instruments he plays for fun on, on his videos is a marimba, guitar, the violin, the cello. Yeah, yeah, my bad, y'all. But this mispronunciation of words. Uh, he said his parents and his grandpa, his grandparents, his parents and his grandparents, and his vocal teacher, um, that's who he respects the most and admires. His favorite music is rap, heavy metal, metal rock, classical opera. They said his he has a vocal range, a, a good vocal range, including Super Bass, Vocal Fry, and Super Treble at G7 and D8 called his whistle voice. And if there is a video of him using a whistle voice, let me know because I have to look. I have to know which video it is. And he's also known also known for his wide vocal range. He does not emphasize on that. And instead, he believes that his voice is just a tool and an important thing for him is which he expresses is how he communicates to his audience. Dimash got parents. His parents met where he was born at Toby at an institute where they were both students and they got married. Then Dimash was born as their eldest son. They said he was most brought up by his grandparents, as a, as as is traditional the case, and where he's from, he was living in a large family. And since his parents referred his referred his grandparents as Papa and Mama, he himself used to call them that, and believe that they were his father and mother until he was ten years old, y'all. Ten years old, he was just young though. He was young. He was a young boy. The meaning of his name. This is this is where it gets interesting. I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, but uh, Dimash, nickname Dimash, a common nickname for Din, Dimuk Hamid. <laughs> Hamid. Din means religion. Muhammad is one of the most typical Muslim names. It means praise or honorable. Since the name is Muhammad, is known as the prophet. It is very popular from where he's from. And the Kuda, the Kuda, Kuda is God, and the Bergen is gift. Kanat means wing. And this is very common from where he's from uh, for uh, young men growing up. That's very common. Uh, they said his um, his grandparents, uh, grandfather, Kuda Virgin's first job was a driver. He was driving in a rural area from where he's from. Let's get into where he's, all these awards and stuff. That he's been awarded and to see why he got so good. Well, it says he began at a young age singing and playing the piano. 
His first appearance was on stage, was at the age of two in a minor role in a local theater production. He acted too. There's some, he acted too. They said he didn't cook. At home, uh, he took interest in musical instruments and his parents, his music teacher, noticed that he had an absolute pitch. At the age of five, he began to take piano vocal lessons at the children's studio of the local music college. He first sang on stage the same year at the age of five, y'all. At the age of five. Could you imagine being up there? At the age of five singing. That's why he's he's been doing this all his life, y'all. And at the age of six, he in 2000, he won a national piano contest. That is crazy. Age of six. It also has, he has some places... Uh, when he, when he was older, he placed a lot of first places and everything. But yeah, they said that he began taking piano, piano lessons at a music college. And then he didn't, then Ma completed a Broadway musical master class in 2009. In 2014, he graduated in a classical musical, classic music with major, with a major in vocal from the uh, music institute from where he uh, grew up in. They said he played seven instruments, the piano, the keyboard, the dumbra, if I'm saying it right, the drum, the guitar, the marimba, and the bayon. He speaks Russian in 13 different languages. This is what I've been seeing in the comments. He speaks, he performs songs in 13 different languages. Russia, English, Mandarin, Chinese, Italian, French, Spanish, German, Siberian, Turkish, Ukrainian, Cairo G's, and Japanese. Mm -hmm. Multi-talented, y'all. The vocal guy. They said uh, in 2010 to 2013, uh, he participated in one four major singing competitions. And one was where he was from. And the other one was in Ukraine in 2000. Uh, the other one was in Ukraine. And the other one was in Cairo, g -Stan, And then the other one was in Asia. Okay, pretty interesting. Dimash keeps getting better and better. And then in 2014, he was awarded the State Youth Prize of Nair. They said he has following his graduation, he performed in various European and Asian countries in 2015. He was invited to participate at the Slavic Bazaar. I'm saying that right, in Bel in Belarus. And I'm 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 knowing that in the comments when I do these reaction videos, it is a lot of y'all commenting from different countries this man is global worldwide everybody i think every country knows everybody in a, and everybody in different countries knows about him it's probably not one country that probably haven't heard about him because he definitely makes himself appear as the champion which he is the champion you know what i'm saying he, he's won a lot of first places so that's he got that to back him just gotta look, I looked it up. He got that to back him. But he also appeared on some TV shows, some Chinese TV shows. And then one of them was Hunan Television, I Am a Singer. They said he has some episodes and stuff where he's performing, uh, some sing performing songs on there. And we're going to get into some of the episodes. I'm going to watch an episode. I'm going to have to look into the episodes and watch some of the episodes. But by the way, y'all, I have Sinful Passion by him dropping later on today. Be for the lookout on that. It should be close to around 6 p.m., y'all. And uh, I'm excited to do that one. Uh, Opera 2, I've been looking into that one, too. And I really need to find the, the whistle. Look, I got the Old Spice. Uh, I got the Old Spice uh, <laughs> ringtone. I was just speaking on a whistle and it whistled. But, yeah. I'm, I need to find a video where he's using his whistle register in one of his songs. But, but this dude is a vocal guy. Like I said, he's been doing this since he was at a young age, since a young age. And he's 28. And he has, still has still still has more room to pr improve. Meaning if he does, then he's going to be, I don't know what to call him. He's going to be superior, ain't he? More than a guy because... His videos is amazing, y'all. And I know y'all show a lot of love for him. And I'm going to show a lot of love. And I'm paying my respect to him. I give you your flowers. Just like they gave it to you on the stage. I give you your flowers. 
But yeah, y'all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and be look out for that video, uh, Sinful Passion by him. And y'all have a blessed day. I've been itching to do this one, and I've finally done it. So y'all have a blessed day.